thing I feel as well, which, which has pleased me about Arsenal in the transfer window, is that they're obviously doing their groundwork. They're, I, I think to persuade a player like Declan Rice, you, you've got to go out there and you've got to do your groundwork and persuade him about coming to Arsenal. He won't really sway him. When City did come in, when City came in, a lot of us were raring and thinking, well, treble winners, Guardi, Elder, but Arsenal obviously is going to ground that. And also, Arsenal at the moment, I feel, is a very exciting club to come to. Um, the players like Saka there, he's going to be playing with, he's going to be playing with Martinelli, they're all young. It's, um, it's a good place to come to. I mean, Robert, if you look at uh, last season, obviously, um, success brings expectations. And whatever happened at the end of this you know, in Manchester? We all agree on that. With these three players signing, Rice, Cabot, Rice and, and Timber, over 200 million, does this put more pressure on the Arsenal side? Does this put more pressure on Mikel Arteta going into next season? Yeah, of course it does. Yeah, of course it does. You know, because, you know, it's, it's a lot of money spent. It's coming in. Or double up. It was complete for so... You want to be... And one of the th narratives that I kept hearing at the um, the end of uh, the season was, oh, Arsenal never going to be in this position again. You guys should have, you know, this was the year, next year, this team's going to...